Yeah, let's see on these questions. The question says, if sine theta is equal to cos theta, find theta between 0 degree and 360 degree. If sine theta is equal to cos theta, find theta between the 0 degree to 360 degree. Solution. Let's look at these questions. Let's solve the questions. And before we solve this question, remember to what? Subscribe. Remember to what? Subscribe. Subscribe for notification whenever we post a new video. Thank you. Subscribe and what? Comment. Share to your friends. Look at this question now. I remember that what? If sine, they say sine theta is equal to cos theta, I could remember that what cos i remember that cos theta is equal to sine sine 90 minus what theta sine cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta somebody will say how somebody will say what how how do we get this how we get this can you come here so that we can see how we get this you remember this is the word 90 Right angle triangle. Look at right angle triangle. And this right angle triangle, if this place is 90, which made it right angle triangle, and I call this angle theta, I cannot call this angle to be 90 minus uh, theta. This will be 90 minus what? Theta will give me this angle here. So if I call this place x and here is y, which is hypotenuse. I cannot say that adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse will give me what? Cos. Cos what? Theta. This cos theta. If I'm considering this angle. If I'm considering this angle, adjacent over hypotenuse will give me cos. Therefore, x itself will give me y cos what? Theta. Again. Again, if I look at this and say this man, considering this angle, as I'm considering this angle, I can say opposite over hypotenuse. Look at opposite over what? Hypotenuse will give me sine. Opposite over hypotenuse will give me sine. Eh? That will give me sine 90 minus what? Theta. Then I can now say that x is equal to y sine what? 90 minus what? Theta. Sine 90 minus theta. But this is x equals to this. x again equals to this. Therefore, I cannot say that y cos theta, y cos theta is equals to y sine 90 minus theta. That's it. I cannot say that y can cancel this y. I will have cos theta is equals to sine 90 minus theta. That's how we get it equation can we go back here this is how i get the relationship that cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus what theta that's how we get the relationship over there so since this man is this i can use this man to substitute for what theta here i will have that therefore that sine theta is equal to replacing this cos here i'll have sine theta is equal to sine 90 minus what theta that's it I cannot say that what this is this is equal to this. I can cancel this, giving me what that theta is equal to 90 minus what theta. Taking the theta over here, I will have what theta plus what theta is equal to what 90. I will now have 2 theta is equal to what 90. Then I cannot say theta is equal to 90 divided by 2. Then I can now say that what theta is equal to 45. I think you get me now. That 45 degree theta. Theta is 45 degree. Now, what they told me is to find theta between the what? 0 degree and what? 360 degree. I can now say, okay. Now, I have gotten the theta in. Let's put it here. Can you follow me here? In this, I have four quadrants. We have four quadrants. The first quadrant, look at this. I have my first quadrant here. I have my second quadrant here. I have my third quadrant here. And I have my fourth quadrant here. Then now, 
This is 90, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90, giving me 360 angle at a what point. Then now, the first quadrant all are positive. The second quadrant is stand. I said stand, turn, take off. What do you mean? All stand, take off. All stand, take off. All stand, take off. Mean that in this first quadrant, all are positive. In second quadrant, only sign is positive. In third quadrant, tan is only person that is positive. In fourth quadrant, is only cause. Then now, I cannot say that eh, my first quadrant is already theta is equal to what? 45. That's my first quadrant. Then my second quadrant, I cannot say my second quadrant, which my first quadrant ta, theta is equal to what? Sine eh, 180 minus what? Theta. That's my what? Second quadrant. My second quadrant is sine eh, 180 minus theta. This can cancel this, giving me that theta, which is 45, is equal to what? 180 minus 45. That means my first quadrant, which is 45, is the same thing as 180 minus 45, which gives me 135 for the second quadrant. So my angle in second quadrant is this. Then now, looking for third quadrant, my third quadrant said sine, sine theta is equal to what? Um, minus sine, minus sine, uh, 180 plus what? Theta. That's my third quadrant. Look at my first quadrant. Look at my third quadrant. Then I cannot say that what? 45. I can cancel this now. Cancel this. Giving me that my 45 in first quadrant will give me minus into 180 plus 45 in the third quadrant. This will give me 45 in first quadrant will give me this in third quadrant. I can now say that this is equal to minus this plus this will give me 225. Two, two, that will give me 225 degree in what? Third quadrant. In fourth quadrant, I'm talking about fourth quadrant now. I will now say my fourth quadrant is sine theta, which is theta for my first quadrant, is equal to what? Minus sine 360 degree minus theta. Therefore, this can cancel this, leaving me that my theta in first quadrant is equal to minus into 360 degree minus theta in my fourth quadrant. That my 45 degree, which is my first quadrant, is equal to minus 360 degree minus 45 degree. And this will give me equals to, this will give me this, minus this will give me minus uh, 3, minus 315 degree. 315 degree. They are for my range, the angle theta between theta between to get the theta between eh, between zero degree and eh, three sixty degree will be the first quadrant angle is forty five degree comma second quadrant angle is one three five degree comma Third quadrant angle is uh, minus 225 degree. The fourth quadrant is minus 315 degree. And that's the answer of the question asked to solve. And that's the answer. So that's the answer of the question asked to solve. You can also note this. That in my second quadrant is only sign is positive. In my second quadrant is only sign that is positive. In my third quadrant is only tan that is positive. In my fourth quadrant is only cos that is positive. Can I have the second quadrant orders? Look at the second quadrant. I have cos theta is equal to minus minus. Uh, 
it will give me minus cos eh? minus cos y eighty minus what theta. That's my second quadrant. Then tan of theta is equals to minus tan into one eighty minus theta. Because in second quadrant is the only sign that is what positive. Look at it. Second quadrant is the only sign that is what positive. Look at sine theta is equal to sine theta of the first quadrant is equal to what sine into one eighty minus theta in second quadrant. And when I cancel this, give me forty five degree in the first quadrant. That will be one eighty minus forty five degree. Give me. 135 in second quadrant. That 45 degree in first quadrant will give me 135 in second quadrant. Then coming to this, this is my third quadrant. My third quadrant says sine theta is equal to minus sine 180 plus theta. Therefore, 45 in my first quadrant will give me minus into 180 plus 45 in third quadrant. The same thing occurred in fourth quadrant, which says sine theta is equal to minus sine into 360 minus theta. Therefore, that my first quadrant 45 will give me minus into 360 minus theta. Then I put 45 and get this. Then I'm giving you orders. This is the second quadrant. The third quadrant of this will give me that my cos, my cos is cos theta in the third quadrant will give me minus what cos f into 180 plus what theta and tan, tan is equal to tan 180 plus what uh, tan will give me 180 plus theta that's in, sec, in third quadrant you will not say in third quadrant is only tan that is positive you see that is positive here then that's the third quadrant the fourth quadrant i cannot come over here to see the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant i have only cos that is what positive in fourth quadrant, which give me cos theta is equal to cos uh, 360 degree plus 360 degree minus theta. That's it. And the tan tan theta is equal to minus uh, tan uh, into what uh, 360 degree minus what uh, theta. That's the fourth quadrant of this. This is the fourth quadrant. So now, what they ask me to solve is what we have already done. So, that is it.